I'm going to be playing the new events here in MLB The Show 23, working towards these diamond player rewards, using a similar team to the other day. A lot of high contact, low power guys, and you might already be able to tell from maybe the title or the thumbnail today, I'm only contact swinging. Normally, I'd only be using normal. I don't power swing. I don't contact swing. I only ever use normal swing, but today I'm switching it up with these high contact, low power players like y'all suggested in the comments. We're only using contact swing. I guess we'll have Mike Mussina on the mound, see how it goes. Check out the lineups here. For the first game in the video away team so we do get a hit first and it's my first time facing this 99 chris sale let's see if we can make him cut some jerseys up after his outing today <laughs> oh what a start from tim Raines with the contact swing wait oh i guess we're early on it that hung out way longer than i thought it would i thought that was just a little blue for a leadoff single all right brian roberts trying to get our first base hit first base runner today I can't be missing pitches down the middle. No way am I doing that. Not the best start, but I feel like we can only get better from here. Let's see how our pitching is. There's one. There's two. And there's a nice one, two, three inning. Let's try to hit a little bit better than we did in the first. Does he have four pitches? Don't catch this. He caught it. That one felt decent. All right. That's probably one of my better swings, if not best swings of the day. I'm having a little bit of trouble picking up Chris Sale. Let's hope it's still tied 0-0 next time we're hitting. My perfect game is gone. No chance to get him at second. I didn't have a perfect throw there. He's not risking it. So we have a chance at a double play. Is this a double play? Mike Mussina for one. Is he going to get the second? No. And there we go, another scoreless inning. If we don't score in the top of the third, then a solo home run gives us the L. These are three inning games today. There we go, first base hit, first base runner. I needed that. I don't think I have a base runner. John Baerty up the middle, 99 speed. Is it going to be a double play? Yes, he hit it a little bit too hard. Now we need Joe Torre to start a two-out rally. It has not been the best first game for only contact swinging. Good thing this isn't the only game in the video. Let's see if we can get it to extra innings. On an 0-2 count, I decided to give him a base hit. I think he's actually going to go to second. This He's not. So we're still looking for a double play, but that's the go-ahead run. If I let that run come across to score, we lose this game. Double play ball. Oh, beautiful. We actually got the green throw. 61 speed. He's out at first. And we're one out away from going to extra innings. What a play. Don't get down. Tony Gwynn, do you get here? All right. Now the winning run is going to be in scoring position with two down in the bottom of the third. Can someone give me some location tips? Do I need to throw it up in the zone, further out of the zone? Where am I supposed to throw it? Because that's my biggest issue when it comes to pitching is I just don't know where to throw my pitches. But we're sending it to extra innings. Tied at zero. Maybe we could take a lead. Aroldis Chapman comes in. We missed that one a little bit. 48 speed. Wait. What is he doing in the outfield? I'm just going home because he decided to mess it up like that. Wait, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to send him home. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no, dude. He's going to catch me. No, at least we scored a run. And honestly, I'll take it because of that misplay in the outfield. We got a little bit blessed. Only one down. We could add on to it still. Oh, look at that contact swing for a home run, baby. Brian Roberts is early. My bad. And that's ball four. Lefty, lefty coming up. One of my favorite cards. Honestly, every year, Tony Gwynn, so far, his Incognito series has been great for me. I think it's at a 421 average. Let's see if he could come through lefty, lefty. Oh, we got ice. Tony, please let it hit you. You're a big boy. I know you can't move that fast. Tony Gwynn, 0 for 2. We still got one more out to try to score some more runs. I don't know why all of a sudden the past week or two, some of my best swings, I think majority of my best swings, I can't get good timing. But then when I do get good timing, my PCI is just not on the ball. I got to figure it out. 
maybe play a little bit more than I have been playing. For the most part, I don't know if anyone else has been the same way, but majority of my time spent on this game, as we're tied now, majority of my time spent playing MLB 23 is just grinding offline. Conquest, showdown, moments, things like that. And that's another hit on a pitch out of the zone. I still don't know where to throw it. I think maybe I'm just relying on the pitches below the zone. A little bit too much. The winning run is 90 feet away. Double play? Hey, I'll take a double play. One out away from another extra inning. And striking out Joe Torre after four. At least we're tied. At least we haven't lost. I can't believe we're going to the fifth inning of a three inning event game though man it really has me wishing i could do anything but contact swing but we're only contact swinging every game every batter in this video i don't think it's gonna get down but i never know now with this right fielder 60 speed should hopefully be enough to get to third it is 90 feet away from taking a lead in the top of the fifth please get through i started to go home he throws it home, so now everybody's safe. I'm so tempted to bunt, but I don't like to bunt, man. I like to earn my hits, and we're going to try to earn them through contact swinging. The Chosen Quan up to bat. The Chosen Quan? No, man. That's out number two. Yo, this dude is pulling out the stops. We saw the Aroldis Chapman. We saw Aaron Loop, and now we have Rob Dibble, the third pitcher I've seen in this inning alone. And now, granted, Chapman was in their last inning, too, but... I've seen a lot of different bullpen arms, a lot of them that are hard to hit. John Barity, thank you so much. Please get out. No, no ground rule double either. I went home because he threw it to second. I saw the throw going, so I just kept going home. Thank you for giving me an extra run. Maybe we would have scored even if he threw it home. I'm not really sure, but John Barity coming through. Now we've got a two-run lead. And Joe Torrey keeps it going. 99 speed. I don't care that that's Sammy Sosa in center field. That's run number four for Twin Gaming TV. Tim Raines. Perfect, perfect. Oh, man. Yo, I, I really, even with these low contact guys, I'm not sure if contact swinging is the move. Striking out Sammy Sosa. That's a huge out number one. That's a big out number two. One more, and we've got our first win of the day. I realized one of my biggest issues with pitching is I'm too predictable. I throw the same like three or four pitches, same three or four locations, every game, all game, and then get surprised when my opponents start expecting those. So I think I just need to mix up my locations and speeds a little bit more than I do. We're 1-0 to start this video. Let's try to get win number two. I changed up the lineup a bit. I kind of want to try contact swinging with some of these players you see. Home team though, so we got to pitch first. Three into the Ernie Banks. We walk him, got the perfect release, but couldn't quite hit our spot. Now we're looking for a double play, just hoping not to allow runs. There's one, there's two. Nick Castellanos goes yard. High deep drive to left, and it's a 2-0 ball game. And my wife just texted me that we're getting divorced? Besides the home run, not that bad of an inning. Let's try to at least score one. Lineup does look a little bit different. I think this card was on the first team. I, I don't quite know the nicknames of every player. So just seeing Rock right there, I don't think it's Dwayne Johnson. But either way, I'm not getting used to the names, but I'm pretty sure he was on our team before. I think Corey's brother is a new addition though. And actually, I think my leadoff hitter might be the only card that's still the same. That's a nice perfect, perfect right there. Already we have a lead. This game's already, or wait. I'm losing two to one. We allowed a home run. I forgot about that, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. We had Mr. Padre. We had Tony Gwynn on the last team. I can't forget that he was 0 for 2. Now he's 0 for 3 on the day. At least that one was productive. Sammy Sosa. Oh, I, I wanted to go home if I'm going to be honest, but he just instantly slid back. Okay. We got one more out in the inning to try to get one more run. Sammy Sosa's average is now officially below 400. Steady Eddie's currently at 348. Looking to get that up a little bit. Contact swing. Does that get down? And it's gone. 
Steady Eddie's been hit in the weight room. His 12th of the year. Maybe Coors Field helping him out. A contact swing to give us the lead. And this time we actually do have a lead, man. I couldn't believe I already forgot that we gave up that home run. But when you do something like that, you just got to forget about it. You can't let it beat you up. My future wife better have a big donkey, if you know what I'm saying. Let's go, big donkey. It gets over the fence. We would have scored a run easily. No. That's a hittable pitch. Is he going to mess up the throw? We have a lead after one, three to two. As long as I don't give up a home run, I think we should hold on to it. My name is Kodak, but you know that. Nasty. Yes, he did. No, man, you cannot tell me he's not swinging at these. Three and two to Porterhouse. Mike Napoli draws a walk. Oh, now I need Stan the man to ground into a double play. I was asking y'all for tips on how to get double plays, and you said aim sinkers like six inches below the zone. I'm not really sure how to tell inches in this game, but let's see if maybe he gets on top of one of these sinkers and we could get a double play. That's not a double play, but at least it's not a double home run. He's not bunting, is he? I was going to say, with two strikes, you're not going to be bunting. Please, don't be safe. All right, we have two on with two down in the top of inning number two. We're only winning by one. I need to get out 99 Frank Thomas. He could put a big hurt on me right now. For a second, I thought that was sailing over the fence. We're three ounce away from win number two. I think we need a bit more than a one run lead. Look at Tim Raines getting a base hit. I'm pretty sure I have enough cards to unlock that 99 Corey Seager, the core collection or whatever. Does anyone want to see some gameplay with that card? Any team builds we could do around him, like an all lefty team build, maybe use 99 Babe Ruth for the first time too. Yo, this is my first time facing Tim Jim. Speaking of, do y'all like Slim Jims? I feel like they're such a clutch road trip snack. You stop at a gas station, get yourself snap into a Slim Jim. Tim Jim comes into the game and uh, gives up a run bun. Sammy Sosa. He is looking for his first hit of the game. His average dropped down below 400. He wants to get it back up there. And he gets it back up there. Sammy Sosa with an RBI single. And this game, contact swinging only is going way better. Maybe the difference was just using cards that have high contact and high power, not just high contact. If Eddie Murray hits his second homer of the game, I'm going to go buy a Slim Jim real quick. What do we do if he gets a double play? Do I have to make myself throw up? Oh, man. After two... We're down negative three. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh, no. As long as he doesn't get to second. Okay, Adam Dunn misplayed that one a little bit. <laughs> Lead off double. He's early on everything, so I'm going to throw a fastball. Hey, we're getting Nick Castellanos for round number one. That's huge. Big poppy for round number two. One more. And striking out Josh Donaldson. Wait, should I be throwing off speed up in the zone more often? It's just the par is so big, even with perfect releases. It can be really hard to hit my spots when I pitch, especially off speed pitches up in the zone. We've gotten two wins so far. This game went way better than the first. And it is my first bonus reward of season two. Let's see if we could get a little bit lucky. I had, I think, 28 bonus rewards on the first one. I landed on the boss pack only three of those, and I only actually got the boss pack twice. I still have yet to have the third one pop up in my inventory. And I was just waiting for it to land on something. I forgot I had to press a button, and we got a diamond duos pack. Should I do a pack opening? sometime in the next few days i think it's about time now it's my first time facing 99 randy johnson we get a hit first we're facing some difficult pitchers today i'm still wondering if anyone's faced chris sale did y'all have trouble picking him up like i did and now has anybody watching face this 99 randy johnson is he as hard to hit as the 99 randy from the past i'm a little bit scared having to face this card at least we're contact swinging i guess but I can't be at that impatient. We got to make some better swings. That's strike three. I, I'm going to say the umpire would have somehow called it a strike anyways. Let's just say he's got a big strike zone today. Tony Gwynn, my final hope here in the top of the first. And I am not enjoying facing the big unit right now. Let me tell you that much. 
We put it in play. I'm glad it's not a strikeout. Now we need to try to keep some donuts on the other side of the scoreboard. My perfect game. My no-hitter. They're gone. I hope it's not getting annoying me pointing it out, but majority of the hits... You know what? We're down 2-0. I was just going to say, majority of the hits that I seem to give up are on pitches out of the zone, and I'm more so just wondering, am I supposed to try to throw it somewhere else? Because I know I keep asking about it, but I, I genuinely have a hard time figuring out the best spots to pitch, and, and maybe what it comes down to is, is going to just be fooling my opponent, keeping them guessing, throw something that they're not expecting, rather than getting them chasing I, I think the better way for me to approach pitching would be to just try to have them guessing and not expecting whatever i throw catch them off guard if that makes sense either way though like i'm trying not to mention it as much in my videos the only reason i have been recently as there's like another hard hit one on, on a pitch out of the zone right the only reason i've been bringing it up so much today in the past few videos is because I can't have a good game on the mound. Every game has been such a struggle for me. And I need to know if anyone else is also having trouble on the mound. Or if you're not, what are you doing to not have trouble? Because I'm lost. But that's enough for this video. <laughs> Again, another one out of the zone. See, I don't know where to throw the ball, man. Hey, that one was in the zone. So maybe I need to throw it in the zone, but that's hopefully all I'm going to talk about it here. I know it's not super fun to just hear me be like, oh, that's a hit out of the zone, you know, but I'm more so just wondering where the heck am I supposed to throw it? I'm down two, facing 99, Randy Johnson. We need to score some runs, have some better swings than we just did right there. And I also do want to say too, real quick, I get the PCI goes out of the zone a little bit. I do understand that much. Um, I, I don't want, I don't want it to seem like I'm completely unaware or not acknowledging that I get it, but still, I would love any and all pitching tips. The point for that still stands a home run right now, following that two out double from double X. We tie this game. If big donkey could do some damage, I'm chasing way too much against Randy right now. I don't like it. We need to have a scoreless inning bottom of the second and then come back in the top of the third. And there's a one, two, three, bottom of the second. Way better than the first. Let's try to at least tie it here. Down to my final three ounce. Might take our first L of the video. I'm happy to see 99 Randy Johnson coming out of the game. But I also didn't do too well last time we faced Mariana Rivera in game number one. But Ernie Banks. That might be my best swing of this game. All right, let's just do two more of those instead of on top of them. Be right on that baseball. No, that's not fair, Mariano. What are we doing? You're carving me like a pumpkin. All right, one out to have a two-run comeback. Well, we took the L. Let's not let it happen again. Also, with games like that, are y'all okay with me keeping those in the video? Or do you want me to cut out games where I lose, like 2-0 with only one hit? We're the home team for this game, so we get a pitch first with Baby Giraffe on the mound. Yo, me and this dude have the exact same logo. Did anybody see that on the scoreboard? Three and two. I'm going back to an up and outside fastball, just like the first batter. It's working out again. One out away from a one, two, three top of the first, which is what I need after going down early in that last game. And ball four to Grady Sizemore. I'm glad that we faced the minimum because as you can see, after only 15 pitches, he's in red energy. Gets a little bit harder to pitch once you get low energy like that. So it's nice to now be able to go to the bullpen after that three batter minimum. That's out number three. Let's see how the first inning goes. Last time we were at Coors Field, we were hitting the ball pretty well. I'm swinging at every single pitch right now. Eddie Murray still chasing a pitch. Definitely better than the first swing, but... I need to watch a pitch or two, man. This is costing me just swinging at every single one. I decided to watch some pitches. It was a 2-1 count. And look at that. My first base hit of the game. Tony Gwynn with a perfect, perfect. Is that his first hit today? I kind of doubt it, but I know he was struggling at least to start the video. We've got two on, two down. Could we keep this two-out rally going with double X? 
It's actually crazy what watching pitches will do sometimes. We take a lead thanks to Jimmy Fox. This two-out rally going strong. one nothing here in the first. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The big donkey has got a big donkey. It's another ground rule double, man. Saving a run. But at least we scored another one. 2-0. I want to keep these perfect perfects going. Oh, Ernie, what are we doing? Hey, we took a lead. Let's hold on to it. One of my favorite pitches, though, is the up and in sinker. 3-2, boom. Watching it for strike three. And there's out number two. One more away from another scoreless inning. What a play. Does he make it? And Jimmy Fox. First, I think he drove in the first run of this game. Now he's making an insane play, and we don't have anybody do up to bat? Oh, please drop. I need one of these. Just start the inning off with a bang. Oh, beautiful Corey's brother. Thank you. Would anyone want to see a video where I go into ranked seasons with my god squad in contact swing? Because it seems to be doing decently here in the event. It could be fun to try in ranked seasons. There's no way we get a third one. <laughs> That's out number one for the inning. Steady Eddie with the perfect perfect. Oh man, they're just coming all over now. This, the perfect perfects are like, they're raining on us. I thought we had another one. I think we just missed it. I think that was some PCI placement. The timing looked pretty solid. Sammy Sosa gets out number two. Maybe we'll start another two out rally. Mr. Padre is one for one. His average sitting at 419 here in the Mile High City. And he's going to get it up a little bit. I'm not going to run right here because I'm pretty sure we would have been hosed. I think he would have just flown backwards and somehow tagged him with the eyes in the back of his head. I've got bases loaded, two down. Can double X come through once again? He's been the Lord and Savior for this here game. Oh, that, that's another one where, okay, maybe that wouldn't have been a perfect perfect. But I don't know if the PCI was just a bit better. That could have been nasty. We had eight hits. And the first two innings, can we get the final three outs and I think get our third win of the day? There's one. Yeah, sometimes the throw meter throws me off. I've been having a hard time recently getting a green every time. I've been getting some yellows, even some reds here and there. And there's out number two. So I see that my team has the shift on. I've got the automatic shift enabled, sue me, but I'm going to go an outside change up because of that. It looks like it might have been the perfect pitch. If y'all enjoyed that video, drop a like. You might enjoy the video that's on screen right here. We daily upload on the channel, so subscribe for daily videos. June 1st is six years in a row of daily uploading, so I appreciate the support, the love that y'all show every single day. Thanks for sticking with me. And like I said, I'll see y'all in tomorrow's daily upload. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you as always for watching. Peace.